There's always something changing with Howie Roseman every single year since really taking full reign of all the control of what he does, uh, changing his philosophy on certain positions for certain money. And I feel like the Eagles at linebacker is going to be an interesting group this year because they made some moves. But if this group is successful, there are going to be lingering problems going forward. So I kind of want to go over that because I think it's really important. So let's get straight into it. Yo, what's going on, guys? I hope everyone's having a fantastic day today. So definitely going to talk about a few things today that have kind of been on my mind a little bit. Um, it comes to the linebacker position, but we talk about how he rose, been changing his philosophy, what he did at running back, you know, signing Saquon Barkley to $12 million a year. The Eagles have always liked the plug-in, you know, the plug-and-play type running backs. You know, some guys on a contract, you're not going to fulfill by paying that contract. They didn't pay Miles Sanders. They never brought Jordan Howard back. So there's always been Josh Adams and, and some of these other guys that we've had, Wendell Smallwood, that have been successful. Uh, but the offensive line has really benefited to these running backs uh, tremendously, and the Eagles just seem to not put too much money into that, and they finally did. Now, with the linebacker position, I think it's really interesting because this is obviously the same scheme we've been running, but obviously with you know Vic Fangio coming in now with a lot of control over who he's kind of wanted in his defense – uh, you know, the only two linebackers you really have right now are especially, you know, do you only have two linebackers on contract for multiple years? Obviously, N'Kobe Dean is here, but I mean, he only played what he, he only he got out. of He didn't even get out of his boot or he, he was out of the boot in February. Um, I don't think he practiced until like the last day of minicamp. I don't think he practiced all of the OTAs. I don't think he practiced the first two days of minicamp. This is a guy that got hurt in the offseason program last year and then got put on IR twice during the season. Season. I'm kind of like saying to myself, I'm going to act like Nicobe Dean is not on the team right now and just kind of ignore it for right now and just say, you know, let's let's see if he surprises me because with his health right now, I just don't really have any trust in him. Um, so I'm going to imagine that he's not here and hopefully he does surprise us. But as a third round pick, you know, you would think he would have been more of a role player. But if he's not available, the thing is, I don't even know what Nicobe Dean can do because you know, the coaching has got to be better. Number one, we all know this, you know, I'm not trying to beat a dead horse by saying this every single video, but it's true. Um, but with N'Kobe Dean, it's just, I, I need to see more. And if he misses the off season program again, especially training camp, the joint practices, the preseason games last off season, he made what the last preseason game, whatever it was. So he was able to come back, but you, you can't miss that off season time. You can't miss the, the off season program, training camp and all that. And that's, that's the most important, uh, important place that you need to be, uh, to know the terminology. And, and then, you know, if you start playing later on in this defense, you know, N'Kobe Dean is just going to have to catch up and um i don't think you know he'll have the chance to do that but hopefully um with some changes he'll, he'll be all right and you know i'm just praying to god he'll, he'll be good um and then obviously uh you know that we just drafted jeremiah trotter jr by the way jeremiah trotter jr axe man two shirts go get one uh on the philly shakedown podcast merch in the description below um trotter jr it was an emotional pick for Obviously, a lot of Eagle fans with Jeremiah Trotter obviously being here uh, in his career. A lot of pressures put on him. I don't know where. I don't know what's going to happen. You know, there was a couple of things that were said good about him during OTAs. And like I said, there's no full pads on. But I want to see if he's going to make, you know, is he a sleeper? Is he going to make a big push to really start this year? I, I don't know if this year is going to be the year for him, you know. Um, I just don't think it's going to happen, unfortunately. And, uh, you know, I'm, I'm hoping I'm rooting for him. I'm rooting for him without a doubt. Um, I just think there's a lot of experience in front of him, obviously, and he's got a lot to work on and hopefully can make that big push going forward. Ben Van Simmeren's another guy that I think as an athletic freak, I think he's got the metrics. I think he has the athleticism. He has everything to be a starting linebacker. It's just really terminology gang, you know, and, and all of that. So um, I've, I, he's always flashed a lot of times when he played, you know, linebacker for this defense, um, you know, and, and hopefully we'll make some noise, uh, you know, because, you know, we've always seen flashes from players, you know, TJ Edwards was a big flash player that the Eagles never gave him a chance 
Jets when Jim Schwartz was here. And then finally they started to, you know, they put him in the lineup and he was playing really well. And obviously the Eagles made the biggest mistake in not resigning him. Uh, but with the undrafted free agent from Michigan State, um, there's a lot of prom, a lot of ceiling, you know, just what can Vic Fangio get out of him uh, come this training camp. And like I said, like if you look at, you know, he had, you know, he had some tackling issues, but man, he's fast. He's quick, shoots the gap really quick. I mean, um, can be very disruptive at times. I just think they need to give him more of a chance and see what he could do uh, moving forward. Um, you know, you have Devin White, obviously, is probably, I think, Zach Bond and Devin White are the two starting linebackers for this defense, okay? this this That's what it is right now. Devin White's 26 years old. He's in his prime. Uh, new background, new team, new everything, okay? I'm rooting for Devin White. I feel like he's one of the most, un, you know, underrated players in this defense. I think he's going to play lights out. I think between... A little bit of coverage, uh, coverage ability, which is not not too great, uh, but shooting the gap, disrupting and, and running east and west and really covering a lot of ground to tackle some of these running backs and uh, getting off blocks. I think he's really good at that. And I think that's why he was brought here. Um, and this is a guy just getting a second chance in Philadelphia. He's really happy to be here, um, you know, and wanted out of Tampa Bay the last couple years, couple seasons, um, you know, got hurt during the Eagles game, I think week two or three, and then, you know, kind of just was hurt for a while and then never really got back into the lineup it kind of was benched the rest of the year in 2023 so excited to see him he's always he's been the starting linebacker throughout OTAs and minicamp so I think that's going to continue uh moving forward um so very excited about that and obviously Zach Bond you know when Vic Fangio first had his press conference um you know introducing himself to the Eagles media uh he the, the Zach Bond was the first guy that he mentioned now the Zach Bond obviously is a um he was a edge rusher turned outside linebacker, which is which is kind of crazy. Off ball coverage guy had a couple picks last season. Um, I think is a really good role player for this team. I think Fangio really does like him a lot, and can't wait to see more from him um, going forward. Now, the issue that I have going into this season with the linebackers that we have, like I said, Ben Van Simmeren, uh Jeremiah Trotter Jr., the only two linebackers on multiple years if Devin White plays really good if Zach Bond plays really good this is gonna suck <laughs> totally because you know if they play really well and then all throughout this year we're gonna say to ourselves man they're just gonna not resign these guys let these guys go I feel like one of them has to be somewhat of a of a re-signed candidate going forward because like I said I know I know everyone's gonna tell me in the comment section just worry about this year. Why are you worried about the future? Why are you worried about the year after this year? Well, because, you know, this they they this is another year where they didn't draft a linebacker high, which they still haven't done. And um, this is just another opportunity that the Eagles are just bringing in one year deal type guys. Now, if they go into training camp and maybe they don't like Trotter, maybe they don't like Nicobe Dean or somebody gets hurt or Ben then Simran's not playing well or something like that. Do you think the Eagles take another shot at bringing Zach Cunningham back? I don't know. Zach Cunningham, uh, you know, Shaq Leonard, Miles Jack. I mean, that's what happens. I mean, that's what happens when you, you sign you these one-year deal type guys every single year. They come and go. They come and go. And then when you get injured, N'Kobe Dean gets injured, and then you're panicking to go out into free agency to get guys like Miles Jack that, you know, retired and then obviously signed back with the team later on. Um, you know, and Shaq Leonard was horrible, didn't play well. And he's between his neck surgeries, his back surgeries, back issues. Shaq Leonard was a complete mess. And Zach Cunningham was the best linebacker out of a bad group of linebackers. Simple as that. He was the most experienced guy, so maybe they do resign him. As a, from a coverage standpoint, he can't cover, but from you know shooting the gap and just you know playing linebacker and just doing his thing, I think he's fine. Um, so to have that veteran presence there, they could bring him in if that's what they really want to do going forward. But you know, we'll see what happens with that. But like I said, when you sign these one-year deals, this is what's going to happen. You don't have anybody long-term that not somebody long-term that's playing at a high level. I mean, Devin White surely could be a pro bowler this year. I'm, I'm not even kidding. People are shitting on Devin White. I don't know why. Okay, they look at his past statistics. Like, as a, as a – I think he's going to be more of a, more than a role player that Fangio's going to use him in specific ways. But 
Devin White's the best linebacker we have on this roster, and he's not shit. He's not god-awful. He's not garbage. He's not trash. I think he's really going to reinvent himself as a player in Philadelphia, and I think it's really exciting. I think it's really exciting, and I, I can't wait to see uh, more from these guys you know, going forward. And I think linebacker, especially at training camp, I think you have a, a pretty solid group, you know, I mean, more people are saying sign another guy, trade for a younger linebacker or something, but I don't think the Eagles are trading for anybody at linebacker. I think if the Eagles are going to trade for somebody, I think it's going to come down to edge rusher, um, probably more on the defensive line front than anything else. I think they have enough corners, uh, safety. They could sign another safety, maybe Justin Simmons, if they feel, you know, read or I don't know, something happens. I don't know. I mean, anything could happen at this point, but I think most likely to Two moves could happen and, and more on the defensive side, the defensive line uh, position regardless. Uh, but I think this is a group that we have to sit back. We can't, you know, we haven't hit training camp yet, so we have to sit back. We need to figure out what's going on, and we just need to just let things happen and see where they play out. And if we feel, if the Eagles feel like they're, they're in trouble at linebacker right now, if a couple guys get injured or maybe two guys are just not panning out, that they maybe they have to go out and sign somebody, have to trade for somebody. I don't know. I don't know. But they have to get this shit. They have to get this rolling because they can't afford to let two guys potentially that could play really well. Because Zach Bond, okay, Zach Bond and Devin White have been, you know, have been literally the starting linebackers between OTAs and minicamp, and they will continue during training camp. So um, that's all I really got to say when it comes to all that with linebacker, because I feel like it could be a huge success this year, but you're going to have to pay one of these guys. There's no way I'm going to go through another year of, of TJ Edwards type player leaving, going to another team and balling out. I can't, I can't go through that again, but we have Bobby King as a linebackers coach now, which is great. He's developed pro bowlers, Sh Shair. Uh, I think that went to another team. I forgot where he signed, but he's a, a guy with 10 plus years of experience at linebacker coach, which is great. They brought in a lot of experienced assistant coaches to help these players, um, you know, throughout the year, which is great. So very excited. But other than that guys, that's pretty much it going forward. If you guys haven't subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel we'll have more updates and news soon um on some uh other reports coming out as well going forward if you guys haven't checked out the philly shakedown podcast merch uh definitely check that out as well a uh, link is in the description for that and um that's pretty much it so that is the linebacker group that is you know what we're kind of dealing with now and go throughout train camp see what we have and then kind of go into next year you know, the big question is like, are you going to resign somebody after this year? So we'll see what happens. But you guys, let me know what you guys think in the comments section below. See you guys in the next one. Shake some up. Follow us. Peace out, guys. Peace.